he hello? Good, you're here. Please wait. The author will be with you soon. The author? That would be me. <laughs> William Warwick Lipton. William's uh, my mother. Call me Billy. Billy Warwick And L it's not Warwick, it's Warwick. Like Wario. Why? <clears throat> Billy Warwick Lipton. I've heard a lot about you. What is this place? This, Billy. This is why Derek loves a potted wheat plant more than his own cousin. This is why you still have that scar on your neck. This is the writer's room. Carl, show him what we do. We have 24 hour surveillance of Derek and Rand's houses and their highest interest locations. We brought you in here tonight because we found a discrepancy in the script. You'll be able to watch us fix it in real time. Observe. What's up, bro? Brother Chaz! I know you did not mean to disrespect me in this way. Sorry, bro. Uh, Father Lipton. Actually, could you call me Father Bro? I'd prefer it if you called me Father Bro. Sure, Father Bro. Here's all your meat. Oh, wonderful! I'm glad to see you getting rid of your carnivorous possessions. Now, I need you to go home and get me all of your animal products. Your milk, eggs, my yogurt, especially your yogurt. Do you think that the great veggie could ever love a yogurt eater, Chaz? No, Father Bra. Good. May the great veggie give you his nutrients. And also to you. Right. Look at all the meat I have! At this rate, Meat McConnell will be finished in no time. I don't like Meat McConnell, Derek. He scares me. And he'll scare my enemies, too. Come on, help me add all this to his body. This'll be his dick. Not the scale, obviously. Oh, please. Come on, let's go! Ryan is close to the breaking point, sir. We're gonna have to interfere, or this could be it. Copy that. It's time to send her in. Hello? And this will make Derek suffer? Excellent. Chaz! Is that you, oh great veggie? Yes. Derek Lipton is lying to you, my child. He is blaspheming with the meat you give him. No! I, I don't believe it. It is true, Chaz. Go into the basement and you will see for yourself. All that is possible with Meet McConnell. Think of what we could do here, man. I love you, bud, but we need to have a serious conversation about this. So it's true. Uh, Brother Chaz! So good to see you. I was actually just about to exercise all of this. Save me your lies, Father Bruh. I have spoken to the great veggie and he has shown me the truth. I name you Animal Cannibal of the highest degree. What the fuck is an animal cannibal? It's an animal that eats other animals. Clever, right? I will not kill you on the day the great veggie spoke to me, but know that your judgment will come. Part of the script? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Derek, go into hiding. Some shenanigans will ensue. And everything will turn all right in the end. But couldn't you just make Chaz stop chasing Derek? <laughs> Billy. You don't understand. If Derek 
doesn't have any shenanigans to do when he creates his own. This way ensures that he doesn't push Ryan away when he does so. You've read the Camp Kenny file, right? That's what happens. Now, I need you to go on your first mission. Ready for this? I need you to distract Ryan so that he does not find out that Derek has faked his own death and gone into hiding. Because if he does, Derek and Ryan's friendship is over, and all of this, my life's work, crumbles to dust. All right. Um. Ah. Scenario 17. E ought to do the trick. Oh, God. Billy! Oh, hi. Um, sorry. I didn't know if your doorbell worked. Ralph, I sent myself over because he, I, wanted you to help me study. So you interrupted my morning meditations with your incessant ringing so that I could help you study during the summer. Um. You're like a mini version of me. Let's do this. Math, science, or philosophy. Um. History of locomotives. It's like they're speaking my language, Billy. Come on, in here. Carl, where the fuck is Derek? He's not here yet. What do you mean he's not there yet? The script says he goes to the hideout. Oh no. What's oh no? Derek? What? No, my darling. It is I, Madame Goebbels, your new nanny. Madame Goebbels. Actually, it's pronounced Goebbels. No, it isn't. And I don't need a nanny. I'm 16. Nonsense, my dear. Everybody needs a nanny. Now, chin up. I will not suffer slouches. He came back to save Amanda? He hates her! Seems to be that way, sir. Well, monitor the situation. Let me know if it goes south. And Carl? Sharpen Fez's caliber for me. I may have need of it. The sword, Carl! Use context clues! Jeez! <sighs> Fuck! And then came Nigel Greeley, and he was a game changer. First guy to get trains to go over 100 miles per hour. I know in today's world that sounds like small potatoes compared to something like the SC Maglev is pretty much pathetic. But back in the day, that was the shit! And really created the Salamanca, right? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Billy. Matthew Murray created the Salamanca. Greeley's was the Flying Scotsman. I'm sorry. Isn't it beautiful, Billy? <sighs> Locomotives. People going where they need to go on a specific and rigid schedule. None of the chaos and disorder of buses and cars, none of the terror of flying, just trains. I feel you. I once got kidnapped on a bus. Never saw my birth family again. Listen, Billy, I see myself in you. You're smart. You like things to be neat and orderly. But the older you get, you realize that's harder and harder to come by. The world is a chaotic place. And sometimes it creates a veggie cult in order to make a life-size meat puppet named Meat McConnell. And you don't know why, because every time the world tries to explain it to you, you just get focused on layer upon layer of ham chins. And that's, that's why you need to treasure every little bit of order that you can find. Because if you don't, you're gonna go crazy! That's what trains are. The perfect, orderly form of transportation. Ralph came to my room, and he controls Derek in your lives, and he sent me here! What? Sorry, I just couldn't take any more train talk. And while you clean the windows, please keep a look outside. Because if you don't, we shall certainly die. 
There's a bad man coming, so keep a look outside. Please keep your eyes on the road. Okay, what's up? Well, I suppose this evening, darling. I'm sorry I'm not used to these American idioms. You know what I mean, Derek. I most certainly do not, dear. Now, help me clean the windows, please. Why? Shut up! Stop singing! You're being very disrespectful, dear. Now, why can't you just be a good little girl and do as I say? Because you're not in charge of me. You always do this. You always want me to act a certain way and do the things that you want to do. Shut up! No, I'm not shutting up, Derek. No, seriously. He's here to kill me. Who? Just distract him, please. How can I help you? I'm here for Derek. Judgment has come for him. Sorry? He is blasphemy before the great veggie, and he must be punished. Oh, the great veggie. Hey, you sound kind of like him. Uh, I get that a lot. Listen, Derek isn't home right now. Oh, I shall return for Derek. What are you doing? I can't see him, so he can't see me. Is he gone? He's gone, but he'll be back. What the hell was that? There's no time to explain, darling. If he's going to return, then we'll need to be prepared. Tell me, have you ever seen the quaint little film Home Alone? So your plan to stop a guy from killing you is to home alone our house? Precisely, my dear. Sure. I saw it in Home Alone, dearie. The water will freeze and the steps will become slippery. It's June. Uh, uh, yes, I forget that in the colonies, June is in the summer. What do you think the UK is, Derek? I can see you, Ralph. It's Rafe! Then you're not supposed to be here. Billy told me everything. We have a code yellow. How many of you are in here? Shall I take care of the problem? What do you think, Carl? Billy, do something. I'm just the intern. Fourth wall breaking is way above my pay grade. You're getting paid? Not right now, Carl. What are these? Ah, those are the transcripts of your adventures. Organized and orchestrated by uh, yours truly. Oof. Derek and Ryan become pimps? I don't remember that one. That one is a work in progress. What the fuck did you do to Derek? Ah, the Madame Gabal situation. I confess I cannot take credit for that one. I thought you just said you orchestrated everything. Well, sometimes things go off script, and you just kind of adapt and follow the script to its natural conclusion. And that conclusion is? Classified, I'm afraid. Show me the fucking script, That Ralph. would be a massive overreach of, you know, just... Narrative how you are. You no, 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 you hired a murderer! You know how hard it is for ex-convicts to get a job in today's economy? He did this for dirt cheap! They go more expensive room to hire a real person! And besides, Derek wasn't supposed to be in any danger. He's gonna manipulate events so that he'd be perfectly safe. Did you? I tried, but things went off book, and now Chaz is hunting down Derek to kill him. So do something! You're right. There comes a time in a man's life who wants to stand up and do what's right. Carl! Do something! Billy, you heard the boss. Please don't hurt me. Well, that does it. I truly hope we'll be able to save your brother, Derek. It's the inconsistency that does it for me. I mean, are you and Derek separate entities? Is this a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde situation? It's just all over the place. Well, the longer I spend in this strong, feminine body, the more... I truly become Madame Gabal's. I remember my childhood. I was a pretty young girl, just like you. My twenties, when I came over to the colonies with 
nothing but my body to sell for money. Then again, 2016 was a different time. It was my brother who saved me. And now, it is you who will save me. Okay, I know that I have to say it, but can we get Derek back? Well, that's just it, dearie. The longer I spend away from him, the more I fear I may never go back. My life as Josephine Goebbels is just beginning, and I feel like I have connected with you in a way that Derek Lipton never has. I mean, if it's any consolation, you can always put on Mom's dress again. And you're right, it has been fun. And not just because I've been posting pictures of you on Instagram. Hey, old lady, I'm looking for Derek Lipton. White guy, same height and build as you, lives at this residence. Actually, it rings a bell. He's not here right now, and in fact, I think he's not going to be coming back. So, you can just leave. Toodles! Shit! Oh great veggie, guide me! Stop, Chaz! This is not the way of the veggie. I must do this. He is the reason our planet is dying. That's a bit strong. Another lie. Derek Lipton is nothing but lies. Don't worry, heretic. The great veggie thirsts for tomato juice, not blood. He only wants your life. I don't remember that detail from any of my sermons. Your lies are over. You will atone for your sins. Hold on, give me a sec, man. I'm wearing heels here. Wait, Chess! Stop! Who are you to get in the way of the great, great veggie? Yeah, whatever. There's been a rewrite. A rewrite of what? The script. This adventure. This seems a bit anticlimactic. Why don't you leave the writing to the writers, Chaz? It's not like you haven't been completely off book. Finding the speaker, that wasn't in the script. Okay, hold on. If I could just interject here. What is going on? Madame Gobals, do you really think you're in a position to be asking what's going on? Fair point, darling. Uh, okay, I guess I'll get going then. So should I ask Ralph for the- Read the room, dude! I'm sorry. What just happened? Derek, I want you to think very carefully about how you answer this. What was your plan here exactly? Were you just gonna be Madame Gobals for the rest of your life? You don't think I'm cool enough to know about Madame Gobals? I gotta find out from some goddamn Ralph script like a common whore? Well, I have news for you, buddy. I am cool enough. I could be part of this. I have dresses in my closet too. But no, once again, you leave me completely in the dark. In fairness. I wasn't planning on leaving you completely in the dark. I did write you a note. Yeah, I found that note. Ryan, please feed plenty. Yeah, I thought you would be distracted by the fact that I was dead and would forget to feed plenty. Derek, I would never forget to feed plenty. So I was wrong. This whole time, I thought I was the puppet master, that I made Derek and Ryan dance and leap to my will. But in reality, I am nothing more than a cog in a machine much larger than any one of us. A cog that has now become redundant. Simply put, Derek and Ryan have become self-sufficient. Their adventures will follow the same formula in perpetuity, forever trapped in the same cycle of farce and folly. Until something comes along to break it.